Hello chaps, welcome to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Today we're going to take a look at a scale which I think is one of the best um, resources for adding uh, drama and emotional content into a solo. I'm talking about the Aeolian mode, also known as the natural minor scale. Now, if the word mode makes you kind of scurry away and hide behind the sofa, uh, don't panic. This is nowhere near as complicated as many lessons on modes will have you believe. I think traditionally the way that modes are taught is the way that it's kind of okay. This is a mode, this, and this mode is basically a major scale, but you are starting on uh, this note rather than the root note. So you've got to do a number of things there to, to process that. You've got to think about, okay, I need to know where that major scale is. And I also now need to think about this other note within the scale as being the root rather than the root note being the root. And it's just, you know, it's a lot of steps to go through to get something that you can actually uh, use and play. And I think this is the root cause of why many people find modes so intimidating. I prefer to think of it the way I learned it really, which is to start off with a pentatonic scale and then simply amend and adapt that pentatonic scale until you've got the mode that um, fits the chord sequence you're playing in. We'll analyse all of that uh, very shortly, but for the moment let's take a listen to uh, the subject matter. This is a pretty much warts and all one take uh, guitar solo that I recorded uh, earlier using the Aeolian mode. Here it is. Okay, so there you go, that's what the Aeolian mode can be made to sound like. Um, in order to use the Aeolian mode in a solo, you have to have um, the right chords in the backing track. It's no good just thinking, okay, so this is in A minor, therefore I can use the Aeolian mode. It's not quite as straightforward as that, but bear with me and we'll uh, hopefully make it all nice and clear. So let's take a look at the chords that are in the accompaniment to that solo that I've just played and then we can see what it is about them that makes them Aeolian. So as you can see, um, very definitely a, a backing track in A minor. But what is it that makes it specifically Aeolian? Well, you will have noticed that there is a G chord in that track. And that G chord contains this note here. This is a B note, by the way. So because that note is in the chord sequence, I can add that B note into my a minor pentatonic. Here's the pentatonic. A familiar choice of scale for all of us, I'm sure. 
so now let's add any B notes that we can find around that scale position into the actual uh, bunch of notes we're playing. So there's one there, there's a B note, so we're going to add that in. There's that B note that we spotted in the G chord, there it is, and then continue up the scale. There's another B note there. So complete the scale by going to that note. So here's the A minor pentatonic plus a B note. We're halfway there, we're halfway towards getting a mode. You'll also have noticed that in that chord sequence there was both an F chord and a D minor. Now the um, D minor chord and the F chord both have this F note in them, which isn't present in the A minor pentatonic, which is just A, C, D, E and G. So what I'm going to do now is, as well as that B note that we've added in from the G chord, I'm going to add in the F note from the D minor and F chords, and that will give us this. There's the F there, and there. So that is an A minor pentatonic plus a B note and an F note, otherwise known as the A Aeolian mode. Okay, so now you've got that knowledge that basically all you've got to do is add a B note and an F note into an A minor pentatonic. Anywhere you have an A minor pentatonic pattern, you can add in a B note and an F note and get the Aeolian mode and start playing some licks with it. What you need to do is just basically take any of your familiar pentatonic licks and just sneak in one or more of these extra notes. Um, so a familiar little pentatonic lick might go like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do there is adapt that lick just to put that note in. Or here's another one. Okay, I've got an F note there that I can add in. Like that, and suddenly you've got um, modal licks that are available to you. But it's no good being able to um, find these licks unless you can tell whether or not you can use them over any given chord sequence. So it's about time we took a look at that aspect of things, I think. Here it is. Okay, let's take a look at the relationships between any of the chords that may be in your chord sequence and the home chord, which in this case is A minor. If, for instance, within that chord sequence you have a major chord, one semitone above your home A minor chord, in this case that's going to be B flat, this is not the Aeolian mode. It's actually the Phrygian mode. If you have um, a major chord, five semitones above your um, home minor chord, then this is not the Aeolian mode. It's actually Dorian. If, however, you have a minor chord, five semitones above your home minor chord, then this is the Aeolian mode, providing you don't have any of the other uh, chords in there that we've already mentioned. If you have a major chord, four semitones below your home minor chord, then, once again, this is the Aeolian mode. As I said, as long as you don't have any of the other chords in there that we've already discussed would rule out the Aeolian mode. So there you have it. That is how to spot uh, whether or not you can use your Aeolian mode licks over the top of any given chord sequence. So there you go. That's how you can tell whether or not uh, the Aeolian mode is the appropriate scale for any solo that you're playing. Just look at uh, the chords that are in the chord sequence and make those uh, comparisons that you've seen there. Okay, um, let's listen to the solo again. Uh, this time the tab is going to be scrolling past as you uh, hear the, uh, the solo that I did. I tabbed it out. Uh, the, as I say, the tab is available from below the uh, this video as well, so if you want to grab a copy and print it off, then knock yourself out. Uh, 
as you're watching the tab going past here, see if you can spot where I'm adding in these extra notes, these Bs and Fs, into the A minor pentatonic. Here it is. And there you go, that is uh, the transcription, the tab of the solo that I played earlier. And um, yeah, use it, steal some licks from it, um, you know, come up with l variations of your own on these licks. Basically, uh, just see what you can learn from it. And next time you've got to play a solo uh, in a minor key, just ask yourself, is this Aeolian? Can I use these ideas on this? And, you know, if you can, it just adds that little bit more depth and drama to the, you know, the pentatonic option that is already there. And it's a good safety net, the pentatonic scale. But, you know, why limit yourself? And on that note, I'll thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way, you will never miss another one like it. Um, I will also just take this opportunity to uh, big up my own guitar tuition business. That is, after all, what pays the mortgage. So if you would like some tailored one-to-one -one guitar tuition, then get in touch with me via the details at the end of this video. If you live on Teesside in the northeast of England, you can come along for a face-to-face -face lesson. Or wherever you are in the world, you can have a lesson via Skype. And whichever way you do it, your first lesson is free. And with that, I'll bid you all a good day and look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye for now.